So the first thing we want to do is go into control and then go all the way down to preheat PLA. So we'll click that and that's going to start our preheating. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's showing 200 on the nozzle and 60 on the bed there. So, so as that's heating up, what we're going to be doing next is leveling the bed. And before we click on out of home or to home the printer to see, make sure everything works. Let's go ahead and manually lower this down. And the reason we want to do that is because we want to make sure that our Z axis is stop switch right here is clicked before our nozzle hits the bed. So so this will guarantee us that you know we're not gonna you know jam into the bed with the nozzle so and sure enough we're right at the right position there so our little clicker clicks there before our nozzle gets too close to the bed so and we are actually already preheated pretty much all right so if we click on control we can go to out of home so if we click that we're gonna make sure everything works so the X and the Y worked and now the Z also works so that confirms that all of our end stops works and the motors all operate. So we're good to level our bed. Now this printer doesn't have any kind of leveling assistance or definitely not any automatic leveling. So it's all completely manual. So after out of homing, we're going to select disable steppers and that's just going to free everything up. And so everything is loose now. I can just push this. So the whole idea here is to be very careful about not moving Z axes down. But what you're going to need is some kind of paper. I'm going to use a sticky note and we're literally just going to put it in between the bed and the nozzle. And then we're going to adjust it with these knobs. And so once we get a little bit of friction, which actually guys on my printer here, it looks like that the springs are already pretty loose and the nozzle is too high. So what we're going to need to do is adjust our Z axis end stop switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tighten up compressing the spring rate about halfway or so. So we basically lowered the whole bed down a bit. So now let's flip the printer to the side. And you guys can see there's two bolts right here. And this is going to move our Z axis end stop switch up and down. So the reason we're doing this is because if we try to loosen this where the bed tries to go up to the nozzle, we're going to have it too loose. It's going to bump off really easy if the slightest vibrations or not else. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to compress the springs and bring the whole end stops down a little bit. And to control that, we need to lower these switch down a bit so what I'm gonna do and this might be a little hard to see guys but I'm gonna lower the Z axis down until I'm really close to the bed but not too close because we can go up since we compressed our springs so you know leave a eighth gap or something and then we're gonna bring the switch up until it clicks when you hear it click that's about where you want to be and that should be close enough all right that should be good right there and you guys can't really see the switch from that end but it's on the other side so it does click and we're still, you know, got a decent gap to the bed. So now that we adjusted our Z axis switch, let's go ahead and out of home again. Because we need to find the baseline again. And you're going to have to use out of home a lot of times to keep checking, make sure you're still at the right level. Because the home is where your printer is going to start at. All right, so now that we know we're much closer to the bed, we can go ahead and adjust it. Well, I do need to disable the steppers first. So and you want to be about an inch away from the edges, somewhere about where the knob is. So yeah, so now we're going to adjust it so we feel some friction between the nozzle and the bed. We got a little bit there. So you don't have to be too precise on your first runs because you're going to have to go around and around at least three, four or five times. So this is the harder part because now we have to grab this and we have to move it to this side. But we got to be very careful not to push it down or up. You have to be very gentle when you move this around because you don't want to throw it off. Now if you do think you threw it off, go ahead and out a hole it again and then restart and actually as you do a full circle or each corner now we're gonna push the bed forward to do this corner you might want to out of home it every time you know you do a, a round so and also guys it's very important that the bed is preheated like the bed is very hot right now and you know you might want to also preheat your nozzle so again we're gonna push this very slightly over here it looks like we're too close on that one okay so that's good now we'll go back to the front and this is already too tight again so yeah all right so now that we're back to the front where we started we'll go ahead and out of home it again and then we'll disable steppers and we'll start our process again going in a circle so yeah and do this you know as many times as you need until you feel like you know you're really close because the closer you get to being leveled the better success you'll have printing your first layer which is the most important one obviously because that's where everything builds up all right so once you feel really comfortable that you got your four corners as level as possible then we can move to the center so somewhere in the middle so I can see right away that we have a little bit of a dip here. So we need to go up with the bed, but it's ever so slightly. So what we can do, or the easiest thing to do, is to turn each knob a certain amount. So what I'm going to do is turn it a quarter on each one to loosen it. Kind of just eyeball it. And what that's going to do is bring the whole thing up together at the same rate. Okay, so that was a little much, so let's go back an eighth maybe. 
So I guess I was closer than I thought it was. Or maybe I just bumped it off. So let me go ahead and auto home it again. So yeah, definitely auto home it as many times as you have to, to make sure it's right. So yeah, once you feel like you're pretty good everywhere, including the center, you are done. And that's how you level the bed. It's not very difficult, but it does take some patience and some time. And make sure you spend the time to do this because this is probably the most, you know, neglected part from beginners when you do start off printing is getting that bed perfectly level. And most of the trouble does come from that. 